Welcome to this very special edition of Designing Spaces. I'm Scott David. Clutter, stuff, junk. No matter what you call it, it has a way of overtaking our house, our garage, or even our place of business. But help is on the way. Today, we're gonna to show you how you can get rid of the clutter, get rid of the junk, and free up the most valuable resource we have, our time. To learn more, I traveled to San Francisco to enlist the help of a company that are truly experts in removing the junk and clearing the clutter, all while making it super easy and fast for us. You could say they're the kings of junk removal. Let's take a look. So we're here in San Francisco at the headquarters of Junk King, and I'm joined by the VP of Operations, Mr. Julian Torres. JT, man, welcome to the show. We're excited to have you. So we got your team here today. We're talking about removing junk, decluttering our space, getting rid of all that stuff. But before we do that, Junk King, the story, how did it start? 2005, two friends in a garage, I think thought, hey, how can we give back people's time? Myself, probably the third employee that started in 2006, right after, wow. you know, we've been here for some time. Two guys, 2005, how many, thousands of jobs. I mean, how many jobs have you guys done around the country? Millions, millions. I mean, we got, what, over 600 trucks, 500 dumpsters, coast to coast, you know, operating out there, you know what I mean, cleaning up as much junk as needed. Wow, so that's a lot of jobs. What do you think some of the biggest reasons people just have junk laying around is? As long as people are buying things and a lot of, uh, you know, people are remodeling, I think everyone's accumulating clutter. Uh, I think it's just giving, giving people back time, right? Is And it's kind of what junk removal does, or junk king does for, for customers, okay. is giving them the valuable time that, you know, they deserve. So whether it's a home improvement project or stuff just building up around the house, there's just junk that people accumulate in their lives. So why is Junk King the best solution to hire? Customer service is what we focus on. We're reliable, we're on time. We give you a call 15 minutes before arrival. Okay. We offer a variety of services from full service where we actually do it for you, self-service, right, where you can do it yourself, and then also a dumpster bag. We can do it yourself based on the time that you have. But we pride ourselves really on recycling. How do we get back to community? How do we do more for, you know, not only community, supporting the community and other events that we can, you know, help? So not only are you helping people get rid of stuff out of their home, you're providing them a solution that's going to give them time back, but you're also doing good for the community and the environment. I feel like we could talk about this all day long. We're here. Let's go check it out. Why don't I just follow you around for the day? Yeah, let's go do it. Let's go for it. All right. When we come back, the folks at Junk King show us, large or small, there's a way to clear it all when Designing Spaces returns. All right, so we're here at the first job of the day in Pacifica, California. Quick weather alert. This is called a microclimate in the Bay Area, a little bit wet and windy and chilly. We got Jen, the homeowner here. Jen, you've got a shed. You called on the help of Junk King. What's going on in here? Well, honestly, my husband's been filling this thing up for a while. Um, I don't even really know everything that's in here, but okay. I know we need to purge. All right, so we really have no idea what's coming at us from behind this door. There'll probably be some surprises. All right, so let's go take a look and then we can get the guys in here to help us, all right? Let's go. Oh my God. Okay. What a mess. <laughs> yes. All right, listen, let's talk here for a second. This is a lot worse than I was expecting. You look genuinely surprised. What happened here? I mean, this is a lot of buildup, a lot over a lot of years. So yes. it's definitely worse than I thought it was. Okay, be. so your husband is in deep, deep trouble, is what you're saying. <laughs> All right, so look, you've called in the pros. Definitely not a do it yourself project. Before we get the guys in here, though, I want to bring in Lisa Mary, who's the president of Junk King. Lisa, come on in here. Hi, Scott. Lisa Mary, president of Junk King. Hi, Jen. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So, Lisa, we got Jen here. She's the homeowner. <laughs> quite a shed. She, yes, it is quite, <laughs> quite a shed. shed. <laughs> she opened it up. She's shocked, almost passed out. Is this a pretty regular occurrence for you guys when you get on site? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Families like her either end up with a ton of stuff in the house or like Jen here in a shed and not even knowing what's in there after a few years. Junk King offers families like Jen either full service, which is what we're talking about here today, where the guys will come in and do all the work for her. 
But if Jen decided, hey, we want to do it ourselves, we could drop a dumpster in the driveway. We even have three yard dumpster bags so that they could take the time to do it. But it sounds like Jen with three kids, you're probably pretty busy and maybe full service is the way to go. Yep, I could definitely use the help. Yeah, I think she definitely wants the professionals in here. This is a lot more than she was expecting. I think we should get the guys in here and let them get to work so you can get back to your, you know, having your shed back and, uh, you know, we'll see if your husband makes it tonight, but uh, he's in pretty <laughs> good amount of trouble, I can see here. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds let's good. get him in here. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, Jen, the guys are done. Are you ready to see your new shed? I am so excited. Let's take a look. Oh my God, it's so yep. clean. It is clean. You've got a power outlet, you got a whole workbench in this here. You can move the kids in here, your husband, or maybe make yourself like a, you know, she cave or she shed, right? I mean, it's uh, pretty awesome what the guys did. You've got your space back. What do you think? I mean, I haven't seen the floor or the, you know, workbench yeah. in years. I didn't so. notice that before at all. So that's pretty <laughs> awesome. This is pretty exciting. So you got some extra space back, you got a power outlet in there. I mean, this is now it could be a really usable space for you. Yeah, I mean, it would be really great to actually get in here and use this yep. and be organized. Absolutely, yep. So uh, let's bring Lisa back in. Wow. Lisa. Jen, that looks amazing. I mean, I'm you're excited. You're the probably used to this. Job. But, right, Look at right. this. That's awesome. It's amazing. Thank it you is. so much. Yes. And honestly, Scott, this is why customers like Jen choose Junk King. We're quick, we're reliable, look at even swept up afterwards. Yep. Who wouldn't want that kind of service? And to reclaim this space, I only imagine what Jen's gonna be able to do with it now. I know, we were talking about putting her husband here, but I think she should probably think about making herself <laughs> a little in. she shed in here. So. I, those are popular now, those yeah, she sheds. Right. Yeah, you I think got power idea. outlet, you got lights, you got desk, you're good to go. I was pretty impressed how fast they moved. I mean, really unbelievable, left the place clean. I mean, awesome work. You should be pretty happy and you're probably pretty used to this, so. Always, yeah. and not only do we do full clean outs or large jobs like this, but also sometimes it's just one or two items. So why don't we head over and see JT? He's over at another house doing another job. Let's do it. Hey, Jen, thanks for having Thank us here. So We're gonna much. get out of your way. You can get so back nice to your day. You see, you. see you later. Christy, so we're here at your house. You got a project going on. Tell me what we're doing here. So it's a bit of a remodel going on. I've been wanting to redo this room for a really long time. We got started. We took some of the walls out. We got some exposed lighting now. I see this. We should, we'll leave this? Uh, maybe. Okay. Um, we'll and a lot of the work that we've been doing has been around some of these items. And my husband's now at a point where he's like, I can't do any more work until this stuff is gone. Uh, so in order to be quick and efficient and get this thing going, it's time to get this stuff out of here. Well, you've enlisted the help of Junk King. I got JT and the guys here. Let's bring them in. JT, come on in, my man. Good nice seeing to you again. You. All right, so we're here with Chrissy. She got this project. What's this look like to you? Yeah, so we charge based on volume, but I mean, based on the job. I mean, I think a lot of people think that we only do bigger jobs, sure. but our, you know, we do from single item to, to multiple items, and this job is perfectly in that in that smaller job. So a few items, get a lot of you know space here. How's this gonna help you? Is this gonna help move things along? Oh, for sure. Uh, the fact that he just wants it gone so he can get back to work. He doesn't need to sit there and load these things and try to enlist my help, because I'm not gonna do that. Sure. And um, gets it done within minutes instead of him spending all day trying to figure out how to get rid of them. So he's happy because he didn't have to throw out heavy stuff. You're happy because the project's getting on and everyone's just happier. Well, I think we should get out of the way. I think we should get JT's team in here and let them get to work so we can get this project moving. That sounds like a good plan. All right, here All we go. Let's get him in here. All right, let's go. Okay, wow, this That's is a big awesome. difference. Super fast and so oh, clean. Absolutely, looks nice. this looks great. Yeah, wow, your team made a quick work of this. I mean, you gotta be pretty happy, what do you think? Yeah, it's amazing, like everything's gone. I, I will never see it again. My nope. husband won't have to lift anything or pack his truck and I swear, it's a lot cleaner than it was even before all that junk was here and 
it's well worth the top my time and the money. Looks great. I mean, this looks awesome. So, JT, your team came in here, made quick work of this. We've seen a big job today. We've seen a smaller job today. I mean, when is the best time to call Joe King? Hey, when you want to declutter and you want your time back, this is definitely the time to call us. We come in, do all the work for you. As you can see, we've done smaller, a smaller pickup, and you see seen before, we did a bigger pickup. So definitely self-service, full service, whatever options you want. We do charge some based on volume, which is different than, you know, by weight, which is great. So yeah, if you ever have another job. So you're only paying for the amount of space you use in the truck, right? Correct. Well, listen, I think this looks awesome. You've got to be super happy. Again, your team did a great job. What else can you show us? Oh, we have a pretty big commercial job coming out. You got to check it out. Love to check it out. Listen, thanks for letting us in your house. I'm going to go with the team and see what they got coming up next. You have a great day. We'll see you later. Next up, we're gonna learn how companies like Pacifica Brewery are reaching out to Junk King for their expertise. Stick around for more Designing Spaces. All right, so we're here at Pacifica, the Pacifica Brewery, here with the owner of the Pacifica Brewery, Helen. Cool place. Before we talk about the project at hand, tell me what you got here. What a really, really amazing place. Thank you, Scott. Yes. Yeah, it's the first brew pub um, in my hometown of Pacifica. We have this wonderful outside beer garden for our hometown people that um, we've created here. We have a on-site brewery plus full cocktail bar, farm-to-table restaurant. Wow. Um, yeah, and so we're super excited to be here for the community. As I said, it's the first brew pub. It's been a concept for quite some time. And uh, with the elements of Pacifica and being right by the ocean, yeah. we're constantly needing to uh, reverbish and, and keep the space nice and tidy and clean. Well, I can tell you're a native because you're comfortable out here. I'm a little bit chilly. Yeah. So you guys are making your beer. You got a cocktail bar. You got a full restaurant. You got a lot going on. You're busy, which is probably why you enlisted the help of Junk King. Exactly. We've got the team here. But first, we've got Lisa from Junk King. Lisa, come on back. Good seeing you again. Hi, Helen. Nice to meet nice you. To meet Good you. to see you again, Scott. Scott. I know. So we've got Helen here. She's called on you guys. Obviously, a lot going on. What's the project look like? So Scott, you saw earlier today when we were cleaning out a house, whether it be a big project or just a few items, Junk King can handle both. When we work with businesses, similar to what Helen has here, usually we come out and do an estimate first. That way Helen can show us around, decide what we want to take out. Uh, we price based on volume, so then once we agree on that price, we're ready to get started with the project. So that makes her life easier. She can get back to work while you guys are working, and then she can open up the restaurant later and everyone's happy. Absolutely. So the guys are here. I think we should let them get to work and get out of their way. Does that sound good to you? Awesome. Let's do it. Sounds great. Do it. So the Junk King team got in here, made quick work of it. What do you think? It's awesome. Thank you so much. Super affordable, very quick, easy. You guys are so convenient, reliable, and I'm so busy and I'm wearing way so many hats. So this was took so much stress off my plate. That's great. It was an awesome job. Your team was amazing, efficient. Wonderful. That's what Junk King's all about. Lisa, so what exactly did they do here? I mean, they got rid of some things, they're gonna trash some things, but I know recycling is a big part of Junk King's mission. You know, talk to me about that. Absolutely, very important to Junk King. And when you look at the items that we remove from Helen's restaurant, you can see a lot of it is wood, metal, or some combination of both. All of that is, is recyclable. Okay. So our goal is to make sure that we're doing at least 60% or more of every truck that ends up getting recycled. Wow. So that we keep it out of the landfill. Very, very important in sustainability. That's awesome. interesting. Very so, cool. I mean, I'd love to see how that's done. Uh, maybe you can team me up with JT and I can go take a look at what they're doing. Sounds the great. Cycles. He's at the warehouse now. Go ahead and meet up with him. All right. Well, listen, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to go check that out. Good seeing you again. Thank you for letting us in your Absolutely. restaurant. Let's Thanks get so you much, open Helen. for business and we'll see you later. Take awesome. care, guys. When Designing Spaces returns, we learn how Junk King is doing their part to help our planet.
right, so we've been out in the field all day, saw a lot of great projects. JT, recycling a big focus for Junk King. Talk to me about what we got going on here. Yeah, so during the day, our guys, and also in the morning, we focus on recycling. What can we recycle? We have metal here, as you can see, we separated it. Uh, we have wood in this pile to keep it separated from the metal, and then we have another metal pile. So our focus really is to how much we can repurpose or recycle to really keep everything out of the landfill, and yeah. that's our focus. Junk King. So that's something that you guys are intentional doing. The crew's out there, they pick up the junk and then they come back here. This is part of the process. Talk to me a little bit about what it looks like from when they go out to the job to, to the next step. Consumers really don't understand what is recycling, right? They have the bin outside, they put the plastics, the bottles right, in, right. the basic stuff. Yeah. But there's more to recycling. You know, there's textile, there's clothes off your back, uh, there's metal recycling, barbecue pits, bicycles. Uh, and then there's electronic waste, which everyone uses today, right? right? Electronic waste, PCRs, Cell phones, batteries. DVDs, yeah, exactly. And a lot of people just don't have the source. Gotcha. But at Junker, we pride ourselves on the recycling part of things. Mike established a business, two things, customer service and recycling. How do we stay green? Uh, and that was us finding a solution and a, a, and a and a solution to all the recycling that we can keep things out of landfills and really focus on those. Wow, this is impressive. Thanks so much, JT. This is awesome information. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. We learned a lot about what Junk King does and how they can help us remove our junk and how they're helping the planet too. But we couldn't stop there. We decided to meet with JT from Junk King and get more of his insights about the emotional aspects related to junk. Well, I think there's a lot of negative situations, but Junk King coming in and giving you the tools or giving your place back, right? Uh, people pass away, you know, people move out of state, out of the country. And as long as we're there to help you facilitate the clutter that's, you know, that left behind or, or emotional attachment to it, uh, you can always count on us, right? We properly recycle, we properly donate, we try to give back to communities, you know, people in need. You mentioned the passing away thing, you know, you guys can come in and help with that for a tough scenario or getting rid of that junk or get rid of those things in your life that you're just having a hard time parting ways with. I think when they look at junk removal, they think we're going, getting the items and throwing it out, right? But people have to understand that, kind of give back, try to give the charities, try to give someone that actually will take the items that we're, you know, picking up from you, but you know are valuable and want to find a home, and that's what we do. It's right? like they say, someone's trash and another person's treasure. So you guys aren't just throwing stuff out, you're repurposing, you're recycling it, and you're, at the end of the day, getting it out of someone's space and into the appropriate space, whether it is the tr trash or it is recycled or it's repurposed. You guys are helping people out in all those scenarios. I mean, that's yep. pretty amazing. Yep, and then and, and with Junk King, you know, we come and do the work for you, right? So you kind of leave everything where it's at, and we come in, you know what I mean, and, and do the removal. I don't think people understand the mental impact that having a cleaner space is. Not only is it healthier for you, but it creates a better mental environment for you and your family. So getting rid of stuff not only gives you more physical space, but it also helps your brain and how you live and, and how you feel overall. Yeah, you know, when you go in the garage and you trip over something, you're like, you know what I mean? I, I, I need to get rid of this, right? But I think it's just, like I said, just keep it, keep the clutter, you know, coming out, you know, when as fast as it's coming in and, you know, you don't, you eventually don't do that or run into those issues. And whether you're doing a full service or going through the dumpster or using the dumpster bags, you guys have a solution to fit the need in someone's budget and whatever the kind of job they need at that time. So I think it's really awesome. Man, what a great day we had with your team out here in San Francisco. You guys really are the royalty when it comes to getting rid of the stuff that we don't need. That said, what do you think the most important thing people should think about when it comes to clearing out their space? I think it's the time. Get back to your, yourself, right? Just spend time with your family, your friends. Uh, let the professionals do the junk removal service. That's what you're calling us for, and that's what we can do for you. Man, JT, that's great. There's a ton of great Junk King stories. Let's go check one out. Junk King has Texas covered, with locations in the Lone Star State's biggest cities, including Houston, San Antonio, Austin, and right here in Dallas-Fort Worth. We are at the home of one of our customers in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, where we're gonna be removing a hot tub today. They decided they no longer needed it, or they're getting a new one, and we've gotta get that old one out of here. Plus. Do you see this pile of junk behind me here? That's getting out of here too. So stay with me, watch. We're gonna take it from here and load it on the truck. I own the franchise in the Dallas, Texas area, Dallas, North Texas, where we service everything in the Dallas Metroplex area. Plus there's a franchise owner in Fort Worth, in Austin, 
in San Antonio, in Houston. We've got the state covered. So if you have junk removal needs that need to go away, whether you're moving in, moving out, or moving up, call the Junk Team team, where we do all the work so you don't have to. Finally today, we are getting rid of this broken hot tub that's in our backyard that's caused us a lot of extra money. We had no idea how we were gonna get it out of here and Junk Kings is here to the rescue. They're gonna haul it off for us and it'll be a great relief. And boy, am I glad this thing is going. People pick Junk King to help them declutter because we have the right equipment and the right people to help them. We can do a job in two to three hours that might take you a whole weekend. We can clean out your garage. We can tear down a shed. All you have to do is point and tell us what needs to be gone. That keeps you from spending your time on the weekend doing this stuff, and it also keeps you from having to go to the dump. Young King does a whole lot more for renters and homeowners alike, whether they're moving in or moving out, from organizing to recycling, removing, and everything in between. You might say a truckload more. San Antonio's Junk King franchisee explains. A truckload more. That's what Junking will do for you. We will go into your garage. We will go into your attic. We will clean it out. All you have to do is tell us what you want gone and we will take it for you. We take mattresses. We take refrigerators. We'll take hot tubs. We will clean out everything that you want us to do. Our customers have um, a lot of stuff in their sheds and they haven't seen it in years. And so we'll go in the shed and they'll just say, take the box, take it away, take it away. So customers also like it when we can go in their backyard and clean out their space, whether it's in a building or just to the side of the building, doing hot tubs, tearing down a building, this stuff they haven't seen in years. We go in there, we take it away for them, and then they have their space back again. And then they fill it up, and then they may call us again in another year to clean it out again. So the cool benefit with Junking Houston is you can book uh, same day service. Uh, a customer can call and schedule a time throughout the day. We can come that day, uh, pick up their, their debris, whether um, it is household items or like we have today, we have some wood debris. Um, and the, the other benefit with using us is it's not going to be sitting out on the street for, for days or a week waiting for the city to pick up. We can actually pick up same day service and haul it away and the customer is satisfied. I had opportunity to work for Junk King when it first started. Uh, I was one of the drivers and navigators, um, and I enjoyed doing that kind of work. And I knew that someday I could actually, if I want to be a franchise owner, I could own a franchise. Years have gone by, and I was able to get with my wife, and we decided to actually buy a Junk King. And it's been an awesome opportunity. Uh, we've been very happy what we do, uh, servicing the customer, recycling, um, and it's it's just cool. I've always had the the vision of and dream of trying to be a business owner and I'm doing that today. One of the most common misconceptions about calling Junk King is that I don't have enough junk for them to come out. So Junk King will come out for one item or for multiple truckloads, whatever you're needing. So no job is too small and no job is too large for us. Thanks Junk King, see you next time. Hey Texas, not only do we do residential properties, but we also do offices and commercial properties like what I've got behind me. So you may not have an ice rink at your house or your business, but you've got stuff that needs to be removed. You know who to call. In the state of Texas alone, there are over 5,000 storage units where people pay each month. We'll take anything and everything except hazardous material and teenagers. When you need it gone, Junk King gets it done. Discover how Junk King comes to your home's rescue, adding to your peace of mind for a clutter-free home, workspace, garage, outside patios, and yard. For more details, call the toll-free number or visit them online at junk-king.com. Wow, so great to see how this amazing company is making a difference and helping us get rid of the things we no longer need. 
If you'd like to learn more, be sure to check out the Junk King website at junk-king.com or you can always go to our website at designingspaces.tv. For Designing Spaces, I'm Scott David. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. For more information on anything you've seen on today's show, or to be a part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv.